Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it is the first quarterfinal match. We have South High Community School. Regional High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. You always want your kids to be safe. Now you can show them the Drive with Safety app from Safety Insurance, designed to help us all drive better. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Additional funding is provided by Museum of Science. Museum of Science. Hi, everybody, and a welcome to the quarterfinals of a high school quiz show. I'm Billy Coster, your host. And back in November, teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event. 17 of those teams did earn a spot in this year's tournament. So now we're down to the last eight teams, and one of them will be the next high school quiz show champion. In today's match, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School taking on South High Community School from Worcester, Massachusetts. And on the team from Acton Boxborough, we have Nathan, Vivek, Basil, and Chris, with alternates Charles and Siddharth, and coach Susan Irvis Bowmiller. On the South High team, we have Sam, Jessica, Jacob, and Julio with alternate Tiffany and coaches Kayla, Abellino, and Kitrin Farrell. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. The son of Philip II, what king of Macedonia overthrew the Persian Empire and conquered most of the known world of his day? Yes, Basil. Alexander the Great. Yes, sodium hydroxide turns red litmus paper. What color? Yes, Jacob. Green. Uh, no, you want to try it, Acton Boxborough? Chris. Blue. Blue is right. Anna O, Wolfman, and Little Hans are famous case studies published by what Austrian neurologist and founder of psychoanalysis? Yes, Chris? Freud. Sigmund Freud, yes. Uh, what Washington Irving story is about a farmer who falls asleep for 20 years and wakes up as an old man? Yes, Rip Vivek. Van Rip Van Winkle. Yes. Take a look at your screens. Pictured here is a U.S. Cavalry officer, George Armstrong Custer. He and all his men were slain in less than an hour by thousands of Sioux and Cheyenne warriors at what 1876 battle in Montana? <phone rings> yes, Jacob. Little Bighorn? Yes. Short for picture element, what term refers to the tiny illuminated dots that make up an image on a digital display? <phone rings> Yes, Nathan. Pixel. Yes. In 2019, more than 100 pro-democracy protesters were killed by military police in what capital city of Sudan? <phone rings> yes, Jacob. Khartoum. Yes. Uh, the most vivid and elaborate dreams occur during a sleep stage called REM, which stands for what? <phone rings> Basil. Rapid eye movement. Yes. In 2019, what former Daily Show host gave an impassioned speech before Congress to extend the 9-11 First Responders Fund? Yes, Sam. John Stewart. Yes, now take a look at your screens, and here comes your next question. Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Sunny Williams, based at Johnson Space Center in Houston, where I'm getting ready for my third space flight. So here's my question. 
Stars don't actually twinkle, but they can appear to flash because of atmospheric turbulence. What star, the brightest in the night sky, twinkles so much that it's often reported as a UFO? Yes, Jacob. Serious? That is correct. Uh, what 1941 picture book tells the story of a pair of mallards who decide to raise their family in a lagoon in Boston's public garden? Yes, Jacob. Make way for ducklings? Yes. In 1541, Spanish conquistador Hernando de Soto became the first European to discover what North American river? Yes, Basil. The Mississippi? Yes. Though he became fluent in French, Napoleon never learned to spell the language correctly and spoke with a distinctive accent from what Mediterranean island? Yes, Jacob. Corsica. Yes. From 1918 to 1919, which of the following killed an estimated 3% of the world's population? A, World War I, B, the flu, or C, the measles? Yes, Jacob. B, the flu. Correct. Math question. Andy eats three pretzels per minute, and Jane eats two pretzels per minute. How many pretzels do they eat in total in 12 minutes? Chris. 60. Yes. Uh, what president who succeeded Abraham Lincoln tried to undo Lincoln's legacy by opposing voting rights for freed slaves? Yes, Nathan. Johnson. Need a first name. Andrew Johnson. Yes. And we move on. Which member of the Spice Girls was notably absent from their 2019 reunion tour? Sam. Posh Spice. Yes. Uh, the first African-American woman to win the Nobel Prize in literature. What author of the novels Beloved and Song of Solomon passed away in 2019 at the age of 88? Yes, Chris. Toni Morrison. Yes. Commonly known by just her first name. In 2019, what Brazilian soccer star became the first person, male or female, to score in five World Cups? Chris. Pele? No, South High, you want to try it? Marta is the name there. In 1982, a dentist named Barney Clark made headlines around the world. He was the first person to be implanted with a Jarvik 7, an artificial what? Yes, Basil. Heart. Yes. Which of the following was the first book published under the name Dr. Seuss? Was it A, Green Eggs and Ham, B, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, or C, The Cat and the Hat? Yes, Basil. C? No, you want to try South High? Jacob? A. No, B, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. We move on. Based on a 1994 Disney film of the same name, what Broadway musical directed by Julie Taymor is the highest grossing box office draw ever? Yes, Julio. The Lion King? Yes. Uh, the first manager from Puerto Rico to ever win a World Series in January of 2020, who parted ways with the Red Sox after being linked to two sign-stealing schemes? Vivek. Alex Cora. Yes, the first democratically elected female leader of a Muslim country who served two stints as Prime Minister of Pakistan in the 1990s. Yes, Basil. Benazir Bhutto. Yes. Uh, math question. What is the smallest positive multiple of four that is both a perfect square and a perfect cube? Chris? Uh, 36. No, South High, you want to try? Yes, Jacob. 64. 64 is correct. You do not know what beauty is if you have not been here. Mark Twain once said this about what capital city of Connecticut? Yes, Julio. Hartford. Hartford is right. The official state reptile of Massachusetts, what harmless snake is the most common and most widespread snake in New England? Yes, Chris. Garter snake. Yes, the garter snake. Uh, the first book in the Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness. What young adult novel is set in a dystopian world where all living creatures can hear each other's thoughts? The Knife of Never Letting Go. If you have a positive blood type, for example, A or B positive, then your red blood cells have a protein called the RH factor. RH stands for what type of monkey? Yes, Jacob. Rhesus. Yes. Actual Christian, oh! That's the toss-up round right there. And the score right now, Acton Boxborough Regional High School, 140 points. South High Community School, 120 points. This is a good match. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we take a break. We get to know 
the players. And we do it with a question, which I have in my hand. And we're going to start with Acton Boxborough and you, Nathan. And here we go. If you could live in a society based on one novel, what would the novel be and why? Uh, I would live in Ready Player One society because no matter how bad the world around you gets, there's always like that option of like escape through this game. Okay, Vivek. Uh, I would want Cloudy with a chance of meatballs because <laughs> it's like food's raining down from the sky. Just It'd be raining. pretty nice. Yeah, it's always the basil. Uh, I'd want to live in Ender's Game society because uh, you get to play that like zero gravity laser tag game. That's pretty. That's pretty sick. Absolutely, Chris. Um, I'd want to live in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because I would get to meet my favorite literary character of all time, Marvin the Paranoid Android. Wow. South High, you've had a minute or two. How about you, Sam? Um, I'd like to live in the Dharma Bums by Jack Kerouac because of its sense of nature, exploration, intellectualism, and just Buddhism in general. So. Wow. Jessica? Um, I'd like to live in the Lord of the Rings series, specifically the Shire, so I could live out my life as a hobbit. No hobbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jacob? I'd like to live in the Alex Benedict series because it's a series that takes place in a distant future with a rich history. Okay, and Julio? I'd like to live in the Harry Potter series because it's magical. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Simply said, magical. And so is High School Quiz Show, by the way. Uh, okay, time to go head to head. All of you guys need to come on down and we're going head to head, let's do it. Okay, we're about to go head to head. I have South High to my left, Acton Boxborough to my right. Gentlemen, why don't we shake hands and we'll get started with the head to head round. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. And here we go. What New England state is home to a coastal town called Bar Harbor? Yes. Maine. Yes. What pigmented part of the eye is named for the Greek goddess of the rainbow? Yes. The iris? Yes. What 1990 picture book is about a repugnant green ogre who leaves home? Yes. Trek? Yes. What chemical element is also known as Wolfram or W? Yes. Tungsten? Yes. For more than two decades, who has been the voice of Sheriff Woody in the Toy Story films? Yes. Tom Hanks. Yes. Name the only Democrat to win a U.S. presidential election between 1968 and 1988. Jimmy Carter. Uh, what U.S. state includes Diamond Head, a dormant volcano and famous landmark? Hawaii. In competitive swimming, what's the only stroke where two swimmers start in the pool instead of diving in? The backstroke. In the 1990s, the Magellan spacecraft explored what planet that looks like a bright star in the night sky? Venus. Uh, what U.S. president signed the Indian Removal Act, which led to the infamous Trail of Tears? Did he make it? Yeah. Yes. Answer? Andrew Jackson. Yes. Uh, what American author is best known for his landmark poetry collection, Leaves of Grass? Yes. Whitman. Yes. What city on the banks of the River Clyde is the largest city in Scotland by... Uh, ooh. That ends the head-to-head -head round. Let's take a look at the score right now. Acton Boxborough with a score of 190 points. South High Community right now, 140 points. Let's hear it, everybody. <laughs> Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. The Digital Age, Northern Exposure, Oh Brother, Mean Girls, The Dating Game, and What's the Point? Uh, each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, yes, you can confer with your teammates, but once you do buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. Uh, we'll need your answer. South High, you've got a little ground to make up, so the good news is you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? We'd like Northern Exposure. Okay. These are going to be questions about Alaska. For 10 points, with no road access to the rest of the state, what Alaskan capital is accessible only by boat or plane? Yes, Julio. Juno. Yes, and you've got the board, South High. Category? We'll stay with Northern Exposure. This time, for 15 points, what annual dog sledding race is the largest sporting event in Alaska? 
Yes, Jacob. The Iditarod. Correct. You've still got the board. South High? We'll stick with northern exposure. This time for 20 points, the Alaskan brown bear is the largest living land carnivore. It's also known by what name it shares with an Alaskan island. Yes, Julio. Grizzly? No, Acton Boxborough, you want to try it? Basil. Kodiak. That is correct. And you've got the board Acton Boxborough category. Uh, we'll take the digital age for 10 points, please. Okay, these will be questions about computer science. And for 10 points, computer programmers often use the hexadecimal system, which is based on what number? Yes, Jacob. 16. Correct. And you've got the board back south high. Category. We'll stay with digital age. A digital age for 15 points named for the computing pioneer who developed it in 1950. What test measures a machine's ability to fool someone into thinking they're conversing with a human? Yes, Nathan. Turing test. The Turing test is correct. And act in Boxborough, you have the board. Category. Mean girls for 10, please. Mean girls. These are going to be questions about mean girls in literature. For 10 points, the spoiled daughter of a wealthy general store owner, Nellie Olison, is the main antagonist in the Little House series of books by what author? Yes, Jacob. Laura Ingalls Wilder. Correct, and you've got the board. Category South High. Northern Exposure, please. Northern Exposure for 25 points. Sent by Peter the Great in 1725 to explore the Northern Pacific Ocean. What Danish explorer is the namesake of the straits separating Russia and Alaska? Yes, Sam. Bering? Yes, Bering is correct, and you've still got the board South High category. We'll stick with Northern Exposure. Northern Exposure for 30 points. In 1942, Japan seized the remote islands of uh, Atu and Kiska in uh, what island chain that is part of Alaska? Yes, Nathan. The Aleutian Islands. Correct, and you get the board back, Acton Boxborough category, though. Um, oh, brother for 10, please. Okay, questions about famous brothers. For 10 points in 2019, after a six-year hiatus, uh, what American pop band released a new single titled Sucker? Yes, Jacob. Jonas Brothers. The Joe Bros, uh, good. You've got the board back, South High category. Digital age. Digital age for 20 points. In the 1830s, what English mathematician developed uh, plans for the analytical engine, the forerunner of the modern digital computer? Yes, Nathan. Charles Babbage. Correct. And you have the board back act in Boxborough category. Um, what's the point for 10, please? Okay, questions about ballet. And for 10 points. A flop when it premiered in St. Petersburg in 1892. What Tchaikovsky ballet is now a beloved holiday tradition with an iconic Christmas tree that grows to over 40 feet tall. Jessica. The Nutcracker. The Nutcracker is right in South High. You have the board category. Digital age. Digital age for 25 points. Thomas Edison coined the term bug to describe a technical glitch. In 1947, what computer pioneer and future naval admiral found a moth trapped in Harvard's Mark II computer, taped it, in her logbook and famously wrote, first actual case of bug being found. Yes, Julio. Hopper. Grace Hopper is correct, and you've got the board South High category. We'll stick with the digital age. This time for 30 points, short for beginners, all-purpose symbolic instruction code. What simple code developed in 1964 at Dartmouth College is still a popular programming language today. Jessica. Basic. Basic is right. You've still got the board South High. You'll need a category. Oh, oh brother, for 15. Okay, and for 15 points. Vancouver-born identical twins Drew and Jonathan Scott are better known by what name referring to their hit show on HGTV? Yes, Nathan. The Property Brothers. Correct. And Acton Boxborough, you've got the board category. I'm the dating game for 10, please. Okay. These are going to be questions about key dates in history. For 10 points, the French Revolution began on July 14th of what year? Yes, Basil. 1789. That is correct. You've still got the board, Acton Boxborough. Category. Uh, the dating game for 15, please. Okay. What year marked the closest popular vote in U.S. presidential elections when Kennedy edged out Nixon by just one-tenth of one percent? Yes, Nathan. 60. 1960 is correct. Acton Boxborough, you've got the board. Category. What's the point for 15, please? Okay. And for 15 points. Which of the following is a basic ballet pose in which the dancer stands on one leg with the other leg extended behind? Is it A, plie, B, arabesque, 
or C, Padasha? Yes, Nathan. A. No, South High. You want to try it? Did she make it? No, Arabesque is the answer there. Uh, Acton Boxborough, you do have the board category. We'll go Mean Girls for 15, please. Okay, Mean Girls for 15 points. Trained by Miss Havisham to break men's hearts, Estella is the epitome of an ice queen in what Charles Dickens novel? Yes, Nathan. Great expectations. Yes, you've still got the board act in Boxborough category. Um, oh, brother for 20, please. Oh, brother for 20 points, following a successful career in vaudeville. Uh, what comedy act starred in some of the most popular films of the 1930s, including Duck Soup and A Night at the Opera? Yes, Jacob. The Marx Brothers? Indeed, the Marx Brothers. In South High, you've got the board category. We'll stick with O Brother. O Brother for 25 points. Uh, what identical twin brothers who created Stranger Things got rejected by over 15 networks before Netflix finally said yes? Yes, Julio. Duffler Brothers? Uh, no, you want to try it, Acton Boxborough? It's the Duffer uh, Brothers. But uh, you've still got the board South High category. Oh, brother, for 30? For 30 points. What is the last name of Devin and Jason, Patriots players, who made history in 2019 as the first twins to play in a Super Bowl as teammates? Yes, Vivek. McCordy. The McCordy twins. Correct. You've got the board act in Boxborough. You'll need a category. Uh, the dating game for 20. Okay, for 20 points. Uh, the Roman Republic ended when a group of Roman senators murdered Julius Caesar on the Ides of March in what year? Yes, Julio. 46 AD. No, you want to try Acton Boxborough? 44 BC is the answer there. Acton Boxborough, you have the board. Uh, mean Girls for 20, please. For 20 points. Modeled after Alcott's real life sister, May, uh, what youngest member of the March family in Little Women burns her sister Joe's manuscript? Yes, Chris. Amy. Amy is correct. You've got the board act in Boxborough category. We'll take what's the point for 20 points, please. For 20 points. Modern classical ballet has how many basic foot positions? Chris. Five. Five is correct. You've still got the board act in Boxborough. And that is the bell ending the category round. The score right now, Acton Boxborough Regional High School, 385 points. South High Community School, 240 points. How about it, everybody? We are headed into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It is the lightning round. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams, and here we go. What state forms the western border of Nevada? Yes, Jacob. California. Yes. Who is the Roman counterpart to the Greek god Hermes? Yes, Basil. Mercury. Yes. What mountain range is the source of the Amazon River? And most, yes, Jacob. Andes. Yes. Uh, what giant statue of uh, the sun god, Helios, was one of the seven wonders of the world? Yes, Basil. The Colossus of Rhodes? Yes. Uh, the Northern Cross constellation also goes by what name that means swan in Latin? Yes, Basil. Cygnus? Yes. Uh, what English romantic poet wrote a famous sonnet called Ozymandias? Yes, Basil. Shelley? Yes. Uh, the filament and anther make up what male part? Yes, Nathan. The pistol? No, the stamen. Uh, what river in the Middle East has the lowest elevation of any river in the world? Yes, Basil. The Jordan River. The River Jordan, yes. Who reprises his role of Ted in the upcoming film Bill and Ted Face the Music? Yes, Sam. Keanu Reeves. Yes. Uh, the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California is under the jurisdiction. NASA. Yes. Uh, what mountain is the highest peak in Colorado? Yes, Jacob. Mount... Albert, in uh, what year did the Supreme Court declare same-sex marriage legal in all? Yes. 2015. Yes. Uh, what South American country has a capital of city of? Yes, Jacob. Bolivia. No, Uruguay. Oh, and that's the bell that ends the match. Uh, the winning team this week, Acton Buck for a regional high school with a final score of 465 points. South High Community uh, finishes with 300 points. Congratulations to both teams. Nice round. Uh, Acton Boxborough will now advance.
to the next round where they'll play the winner of the quarterfinal match between Boston Latin and Lexington. That's next week on High School Quiz Show. We'll see you all back here next week. Bye-bye. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Smart home technology can help prevent a little problem from becoming a big headache. You can ask an independent agent about smart home technology offers from Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by University of Massachusetts Amherst. At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, a revolutionary spirit runs through our veins. As pioneers, builders, unconventional doers, we dream bigger, reach higher, and commit ourselves to the relentless pursuit of progress. Production of WGBH.